How did we first meet? Well, I'm going to tell you about it. I was, uh, her mother had a cafe. We used to go by and eat dinner every day uh, while we was truck drivers. And my cousin had somehow went and picked her up, brought her back to her mom. And uh, when I looked at her, I said, man, she's a cute little thing, you know. So, you know, I, 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 uh, I admired her then because she was, you know, pretty little, pretty little girl. She was young, you know. But, uh, you know, time passed, she was, uh, you know, I was calling her, she called me every now and then. And one night she called me to pick her up. And since then, what happened? You ain't been back home since. <laughs> <laughs> From that night, she been in, I, I always tell her, you tease about her. You know, if I had to drop one more beer, I never would have stopped there, but uh, hey. It's by the grace of God. What you got to say? Nothing but God. Nothing but God. That's all I can say because, wow. You be, you be wanting to knock a nigga out. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you, the stuff you go through in life. And here's the deal. A lot of young people don't understand. What God put together, let no man put asunder. Okay. The first little, little something going through, they want to break up they want a divorce but actually you're really not married to that person you're honestly married to God as well because what God said whatever he put together no man put asunder so not only am I honoring him I'm honoring the, the Lord by staying married and sticking through it out and, and, and I ain't gonna tell you now time has been easy it's a rough road but you got to be diligent and you got to be strong because this world can take you the things of the world can take you away from what you got going on, you know. And if you're not sharp enough to pay attention, when those darts and stuff, the devil throwing stuff at you coming your way, you're going to run quick. And it, it, it hasn't been easy. You know, I was a country boy. I had moved down here. Running around. So like I said, I, I, the, the day that I saw and some people don't understand, they understand, how, why did you do it? But when I met my wife, my wife had a little nine-month-old boy. And she was pregnant with, a, with another kid. And to me, that didn't, you know, I, 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 I was in love with her. And whatever she had was, you know, was mine also, you know. And some people ask me, how did you, how, how did you do, uh, you know, fall in love with somebody that already had kids. You know, it's not about the kids, it's about the woman. And from that, you know, like I say, I took them just like my own kids, and you know, they just like their own kids today. I don't even look at them as her kids. I look at them as my kids. And, uh, you know, for 48 years, uh, Wes wasn't even born. And Derek was a good one even walking. But things happen, and and uh, like I say, I fell in love with the little old girl, and I I kind of raised her. <laughs> but uh, she's mine now, still. Uh, and I hope you feel the same way. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Well, <clears throat> when I first met him, I don't know if I liked him, you know. <laughs> I, 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 he would call and I'd turn him off and not be bothered. But I don't know, one night, I, like he said, I just decided I'd call, see what he's about. And he came and got me. I was like, well, I was still at home with my parents. Uh, he came and got me and, and uh, like he said, he kept me, didn't take me back. I'm like... When I'm gonna go home? He say this gonna be home now. She didn't want to go home. <laughs> I, look, he was he was nice to me. He was a good fella, you know. You could tell when some of them don't mean you good good intentions, but like he said, I I was young. I had kids, and I wasn't even thinking about nothing at the time when I met him. That's why I said I, I really didn't like him. But he kept coming around, kept talking, sending stuff to me through his sister and. Lucille, you was calling too? Yeah, I called after you after we talked. <laughs> <laughs> I can say what I want to say when I got a little tips. Yeah, my, my mom had a, a cafe and they used to come over there all the time. And the cafe was like right next to our house. So I would sit in the window in the kitchen and look and see who's coming through and they would be coming through him and his crew in the evening time hanging out and stuff. So they, I kind of he wasn't no bad looking fella, you know, kind of nice, so it was cool. Where was this at? This was in Houston and Third Ward, Third Ward, Texas. Yeah. Yeah.
the secret to making it last a long, last this long, is uh, I, I, it, when we had a daughter. Where our daughter was born in seventy what seventy five seventy seven and and uh I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna talk about me uh I was a, a a man and I was a dad so uh in order for us to get along and 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 and, and uh stay together we had to work together. You know, I had to do some things that women do. Comb, comb hair, clean house, feed the kids, and stuff like that, you know. I, I had to do that, and I still do, you know. But it's one thing about me, uh, I'm a man, and I'm gonna do what a man have to do. As far as getting angry, yeah, I get angry. You know, the Bible says it's all right to get angry, but and not, but, but, uh, it's one thing I learned. If I'm angry, I'm not gonna leave the house. I don't leave the house when I'm angry, you know. And uh, you know, and she 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 still want to be the bossy sometime, and you know, we been in do for a night, but y'all coming morning. I go to bed kind of, you know, t angry, but I wake up and you know everything is passed over. So <laughs> that's a part of forgiving, knowing how to forgive. You have to know how to forgive because the forgiveness is not for you, it's for me. And if I can't forgive you, how can I expect God to forgive me? And sometimes it's hard. Forgiving is not an easy thing, it's a hard thing. But me for myself, I knew I wasn't going to be married but one time. That was it. I wasn't finna deal with three and four different husbands. I wasn't gonna do go through no baby mama drama. I wasn't dealing with I, I, married yeah, but once. I knew that. I always knew that. <laughs> that I wasn't gonna marry but one time. Cause I seen so much divorce and stuff. My parents divorced when we were young and I saw the turmoil. I did not want that for my kids. I didn't want it for myself. So I knew whenever Whichever man I chose, it was gonna be a one time thing. That was it. Either you gonna deal with me once or you gone. That's it. And, and, and she tell me now sometimes now. You can go. You can get out. You the can get show out. look. And a heartbeat. <laughs> you talking that nonsense and that craziness about what I ain't and what I ain't doing. That a dope partner. Ain't nothing holding you. Yeah, <laughs> I tell him in a minute. <laughs> so that's my only problem with him is trying to mind, be mindful. He's not romantic. I don't even know how I got caught up because he ain't romantic. Sure. He don't know nothing about being mindful or or. Ro you know, romancing, he ain't none of that. I don't even know how I got caught up because I I'm a, I love romance. I, it, it, used to, it used to be, but you know, when you get old, all you want to do is live. You know, <laughs> live, eat, do whatever you got to do. Y'all know what? I ain't whooping my ass ass no more. I ain't whooped a man's ass since I had a hood. Yeah. <laughs> go over here. Go, go over here. Let's go over here. Go. <laughs> Snow, baby, what's I'm talking about, man? Happy 48th anniversary, Mama, Dad. I love y'all. It's going down tonight, baby. Beautiful, baby. What's happening, man? Hey, listen, this is the 48th anniversary of my parents. See video on this city. This is the 40th anniversary of my parents, man. All oh, my niggas out here. Yeah, they still, yeah, they still in there. Happy anniversary, man. Mom and Dad, I love y'all. Happy anniversary. I pay y'all rent in um, December. <laughs> December. This just set me back so much. I was a slave. Okay, so now what we gonna do? Hold on, Q. Everybody say Texas. There you go. Texas. Hey, so, hey, ain't sealed, ain't said. I need all the women. I need all the women. One, two, three. It don't flash. Oh, my mama ain't took the preacher with her shoes on. <laughs>
Oh, the door for your wife, man. <laughs> it's too late now. It's too late now. He's trying to twerk. Okay. <laughs> Even through the the, the, the the things that you know we talk about, that I ain't even getting to it about, yeah. but it's just temporary. You know, trouble don't last always. I say it like that, you know. But uh, it, it's it's been a ride out. Uh, some people say, "Man, you've been married that long?" I say, "Yeah, it's just like that wolf brand chili. That's too long, you know." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she all right, you know. He say she all right. Yeah, I mean. Uh, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, baby. It's been a many times I want to knock that Negro out. <laughs> you know, my brother's telling me, you can't fight no man. How you gonna put your man? I'll knock him out. <laughs> Y'all be ready to knock him you, out. You know how I'll stop that? I get a rat. All I do is get a rat. <laughs> a woman want to whoop a man, but she's still a rat. Nah, that, 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 I'm that gone. Sense. That's right. I'm gone. Because he got four legs. You got two. That don't make sense. <laughs> uh... I always tell you know I, I, I do talk to young people in marriage is uh, open all your closet doors up and let all the skeletons fall out. Don't have nothing hidden from from each other. You know we, uh, you you want to be a, you have a clean slate. You know all about me from the bottom of my feet to the top of my head. You know all about me. And if you know all of that about each other and you care about each other and you really want to do this then there shouldn't be nothing that will, should interfere with what you got going on. And I don't know, uh, uh, you know, what God had in store for us, but, uh, you know, we we get into it, but they, we gonna hang in now. We've been here this long, you know, one guy told me, say, hey man, you four times, you four times a dozen. You know, that's 48 years, four times a dozen, so. I said, yeah, but, uh, we got a lot of well wishes for our anniversary. Our anniversary was just when? Last Sunday? Nice. Yeah. Last Sunday. Nice. Was. Congratulations. Thank you. We all good. Just the two of us. We can make it if